Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, American Psycho from 2000. It's directed by Mary Heron and stars Christian Bale and Chloe Sevigny. So, big spoiler alert at the beginning of this review because we'll be talking a lot about the actions in the film and the ending, and more importantly, how I personally interpret that ending. If you've read the book this film is based on and are worried that it's a blood-drenched mess, worry not as the film is fairly bloodless by comparison, leading more by suggestion than outright showing something horrible. However, it is still violent at times. First, we gotta choose a side. Did Patrick Bateman kill all those people, or was it all in his head as the ending seems to suggest? I'm going to be bold and propose a third option that seems sensible when you think about it. What if he did kill all those people up until the night when he's asked to feed the ATM a stray cat and he kills a lot more people in a short period of time? I suggest this because if the murders were all in Bateman's head, that makes the film a boring cop-out, but were he to kill most of the body count in this film, then that keeps it interesting. I, unfortunately, don't have the time to explain why this interpretation works. Bale does a great job playing a psychopath who is incredibly restrained in some scenes, and then later when he needs to dial up the character to 11, like calling his lawyer towards the end, Bale does an excellent job of appearing like a pathetic crybaby, to the point it's practically hilarious. This is important because this movie, much more than the book that I only got three-fourths of the way through, is darkly comic. A satire of the 80s yuppie lifestyle that was all about appearances and surface-level bullshit. This is why Bateman is always going on about making classy dinner reservations, skincare regiments, and why he'd rather detail the singer he's listening to than listen to his fiancée prattle on. In a world where everyone confuses everyone for everyone else, Bateman is so desperate to stand out that he murders people on the side. If you like this, you should watch The Rules of Attraction, which is an adaptation of another Bret Easton Ellis novel that follows the college misadventures of Patrick's younger brother, Sean. Anyway, there's more I can say, but I'm running out of time, so I shall dock the film a few points for using the F-slur with the hard T twice and give it an A, because I really like this film. Join me tomorrow as we start the American Silent Horror Film Collection with its first film, The Man Who Laughs. See y'all then.